Hello, my name is Ritesh Tandon and I am a technical solution architect in Cisco. Today, we are going to see a micro segmentation use case with Cisco's ACI SDN solution. In this scenario, we have two VMs, one which is a DB server and the other is a web server. They are both in the same subnet and in the same endpoint group, also known as an EPG. As we know, within an EPG, all workloads have no restriction on communication. That is, all ports can talk to all ports, basically. But with a micro-segmentation, two workloads in the same subnet would be able to communicate only on the ports which you define in a contract. So let's go a little deep with the micro-segmentation. We'll do is like we'll jump on to the demo portion of it. So in the same language which you just saw, I've got a prod EPG. I've got a domain which is tied to VMM. The VMM D, uh, DB port group is already pushed as soon as I in the, uh, attach the VMM. And that particular uh, port group is assigned to my DB and my app server. You can see it here. They are in the same subnet. Right. And you also, on the part of seeing that it is getting learned, you can go to the operational portion of it and you can see that my app and DBs are learned in the same EPG, 58.11 and 58.10. To create a micro segment, what I have to do is, I will go to the USEC EPGs portion of it. I'll create two micro segmented EPGs, which are, in the, which are tied to the same BD, because the parent is also tied to the same BD. But to move a VM from the parent uh, EPG, which is the prod EPG, into a micro segmented EPG, we use something called attributes. As in, what is the criteria of use moving that VM into a different EPG inside an parent EPG, right? So we do it using attributes. So you can see that we can use a different kind of attribute. I can based on IP addresses, subnet, MAC, DNS, AD, and then the other VM attributes you have, domain, operating system, hypervisor identifier, this level of capability of doing the segmentation, I don't think any other com competi competition has it, right? In spite, uh, with the tagging also, so there is something called v VM tag. Let's say you are on the vCenter, you've got, you tag your VMs in uh, vCenter as app, DB, and prod. You can create three micro segmentations inside the same EPG, parent EPG, with attribute of using app, DB, tag, and EP and uh, once you create it and create uh, this attribute, automatically those tags of that VMs belonging to that tag will be moved into that particular EPG within within the same subnet. I'm saying for for this uh, particular uh, demo, what we have done is like we have created. I will create an attribute which is according to the OSM running, right? And right now I am in. Uh, Check which I'm in app. So my app is actually running in Ubuntu. Submit. Similarly, the DB is running on a Windows machine. Double click down, Windows 2022 server, select submit. That's it. And once you go to the operational section of it, you can see the VM where my app is running, which is an Ubuntu machine, has been moved to my app micro segmentation EPG. Similarly, the DB, in, which is in the same subnet. When you go to the operation section, you can see that it has been moved back into the DB micro segmentation, a segmented EPG. By default, right now, they would not have any communication again because those are under two EPGs. So the same concept inside a micro EPG also, if you want to contact between EP, micro segmented EPGs, what you need is a contract.
So I have added a contract to my micro segment DPC saying that, you know, all I want is the DB port to be opened up for the DB traffic. Right. I created a contract which has got a filter. It says only have bidirectional traffic for port 1433. And that is on the contract and it is assigned to my micro segment DPGs. Right. So if I go back uh, to the VM, let me see if I've already opened it. Yeah. So this is my DB server. And what you can see here is if I try to initiate a ping within the same subnet to my app server. Okay, this is 58.11. It will fail. I can't ping, but I can. I can do a DB transaction. Docker images. That is my app. And what I have to do is your Docker run. It is doing. Your superheroes have been added. If I go back. Added. You can see it here. So the only port which is open is 1433. Everything SSH, ICMP, everything blocked. Both VMs and sitting in the same subnet. And how do we do this? VLAN information. You will see that is a private VLAN which is pushed. Mm. And that is how the traffic is getting pushed to ACI so that ACI can do the micro segmentation.